Hello, P3 classes. This week, we will be working with text formatting in Word. The first thing you need to do is open up a web browser and go to your address bar and type in k5tech.net. Enter. OK, once you've reached the site, you might have to log in if it's your first time coming to the site from your computer at home. Click on Member Login. And remember, your username is SaTitTech. And your password is 027-927-0027. After you successfully log in, go ahead and go to the third grade. Third grade, right there. And we are on Word Processing 3. Go ahead and click on that. And that will open up a new page. Don't worry about the using fonts. We will do this in the next class where we will learn more about maybe building our own fonts. But just under that, you'll see in this learning module, these versions of Word off to the right. Go ahead and click on the latest version here, 2016. And that will open up another tab to the website GCF Global. Now under this introduction here, you're going to see a practice document. Go ahead and click on this link and download the practice document. After it finishes downloading, you can click it to open it. Enable editing, which is to turn on editing. All right. Now, you see the ribbon is open, but for some of you, maybe the ribbon is closed. Oh no, where's my ribbon? Where's my ribbon? Don't worry. Just click on any tab and the ribbon will come back. But then what happens if I click on the document? Oh, the ribbon disappears again. If you want the ribbon to stay open, go ahead and pin it by clicking this little icon here. Pin the ribbon. There. And now I can click on my document and the ribbon stays open. Okay, let's start formatting. The first thing I want you to remember from our previous classes is double click selects one word. Triple click selects the whole line. Learning these little shortcuts will help you quickly format text. So right now I want you to select this line here for rent. Triple click. Now let's go to our home tab and our font group. Look, there are many groups in this ribbon, but right now I want to focus on the font group. Go ahead and go up here to the font size. Click on the drop down uh, menu here, and you can see that as you move through the different sizes, your text is going to actually change in the document. Let's stop right here at 48. Hmm, maybe that's not quite big enough. If I want to make it bigger, I can increase the text here or I can decrease it here. Let's go ahead and stop at about 72, looks good. After that, I want you to go ahead and go up here and change the text style. Now remember, there are many great styles, but if it's difficult to read, then it's not going to be good for this advertisement. We need to make it, one, look good, but two, also make it easy to read for everyone. So let's pick a nice neutral font. For today, I'm just going to go with this. Now, after you've selected this font style and changed your size to 72, I want you to change the color. So let's go ahead, stay in our font group, and move over here to font color. Click
click on the drop down arrow and you'll notice that the colors will change as we move our mouse around the different colors. I want to get a color similar to the border color here around these pictures. I'm probably going to pick this one. But if you're looking for a color that you don't see here, you can always go to More Colors. And there are all the colors of the rainbow there for you. You can also customize your own color there, but we won't be doing that this time. I'm going to go ahead and go back and pick that nice little orange color there. Orange, pinkish, whatever that is. <laughs> all right. Now, the last thing we're going to do for today is going to be, we're going to look over here under this section where it says bold, italic, and underline. Notice that if you hover the mouse over the icon, you can see there is a keyboard shortcut for this, Control B. Let's try using that. I'm going to click on this line down here triple click to select the whole line just to show you guys control hold down control with the left hand and click on B with the right hand look at that now it's bold I can just click it again if I don't like that on off on off on off you got it now let's hover the mouse over the italic icon and you'll see the keyboard shortcut for italic is going to be control I let's try that control I look at that it's leaning to the right and now it's not it's leaning to the right and now it's not let's go ahead and control B put in some bold control I put in some italic and the last one let's hover our mouse over this U icon underline the keyboard shortcut is control U Let's go ahead and try that out too. Control U. Oh, look at that. So now I have bold, italic, and an underline. However, what if I want to change that underline? Go ahead and click on this arrow to the right. And you can see we can have a double underline. We can even have a really thick underline, uh, a dotted underline dashed underline or dots and dashes we have so many different lines that you can choose from or even a wave <laughs> but for now I'm going to control Z out of all that and bring us back to our normal text okay that's all we completed for today in the next video I will show you more before closing this document I would like you to save so let's not just click the save button I want to know where this is going so I'm going to click File, Save As, and let's go ahead and go to Browse, and put it in your Documents. Now you might want to make a new folder to store everything that we're going to work on. So click on New Folder, and I want you to name this folder your nickname and your class. So let's say this is P3A. Now go ahead and double click into that folder and we can keep this here. This is fine. Uh, Word 2016 format text underscore practice. Let's go ahead and delete the four now I want you to put in your nickname and put in your class P3A once again and click on save easy peasy <laughs> okay that's all for today and I will see you guys in the next video bye bye